Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's time for the fourth and final segment of my RPG Club playthrough of Mass Effect. As I said on the last episode, I've been an avid listener of the podcast RPG The After Years and its predecessor RPG The Golden Years. The podcast focuses on RPG reviews and news. Last year they began a new community event known as the RPG Club. Imagine a book club, but for RPGs. They break up a community chosen RPG into digestible chunks, usually about five hours, and discuss those segments every two weeks like a book club. If you want to check out RPG The After Years, you can find a link in the description below. This segment begins with the Normandy, heading to the planet of Vermeer on a tip from the Citadel Council. We have heard rumors Saren has a base there. This mission begins with the team taking out anti-air guns so that the Normandy can land on the planet to support some Salarian soldiers. Once this is done and you meet up with the Salarians, the team learns that Saren has been developing a cure to Krogan infertility, something the Citadel caused to keep the Krogan from overrunning the galaxy. This leads to a crisis of faith for Rex, who wants to see his race saved, but doesn't want to see them become slaves of Saren in the process. Ultimately, the team plans to assault Saren's base and blow it up to destroy the cure. In infiltrating the base, Shepard finds another Prothean beacon that shows him additional apocalyptic images, like those seen from the initial story mission. Immediately afterwards, he comes face to face with the Sovereign, a Reaper AI that is controlling Saren and all his soldiers. Eventually the team gets to its target location and begins to set up the bomb to destroy the base, when Saren flies in to confront the team. After a rather short battle, Saren retreats and the team escapes in the Normandy before the bomb explodes. As the team debriefs after the mission, Liara merges her mind with Shepard once again to understand the new images from the beacon. In it, she determines that Saren is heading for the planet Illos. The team is then called back to the Citadel, and the Council grounds the Normandy thinking Saren will attack the Citadel next, and Illos is just a diversion. Needing to get off base and follow Saren, Captain Anderson breaks into the Ambassador's office and releases the Normandy from lockdown. Now off base, the Normandy heads off to Illos to catch Saren. During the team's exploration of Illos, they discover a Prothean AI that explains that the Reapers routinely wipe out the galaxy of all civilization, using the Citadel as its entryway into the galaxy. In fact, the Keepers, who maintain the Citadel, are actually meant to open the Citadel to the Reapers when the time is right. However, the Protheans were able to shut down that part of the Keeper's programming and prevent them from allowing the Reapers access to the galaxy. Now, Saren intends to use the Conduit on Illos to enter the Citadel through a back door and open access to the Reapers. As such, the team rushes to the Conduit and follows Saren through it to stop him. The team arrives at the Citadel to find the base under attack. Proceeding to the Council Chamber, the Citadel Elevator is deactivated, and the team literally has to run up the side of the Citadel to reach the top. Ultimately, the team stops Saren in the Chamber, and inputs a code from the Prothean AI to stop Saren's plan. Saren is then transformed into a fully Sovereign-controlled Geth to attack Shepard and his team. After taking this Geth Saren down, the Galaxy's fleet defeats the Sovereign, but the ship carrying the Council is destroyed in the process. The game ends with Captain Anderson being appointed the new head of the Citadel as the galaxy begins to rebuild. And that's the end of Mass Effect, and this RPG Club playthrough. Before turning to the story, I wanted to touch on something from the last section that I forgot to mention that gets even better in this section. It's that I've begun to make better use of Shepard's biotic powers, particularly the ability Throw. I usually use Throw whenever it's available to knock down an enemy unit and unload gunfire into it while it's vulnerable. This was even more fun during the final mission, when you're fighting on the outside of the Citadel, and using Throw will one-shot enemies by throwing them out into space. Turning to the story beats, I don't have much to say on Vermeer, as it tended to be just another average story mission, and Illos had problems as well, such as all the plot being delivered to you at once by an AI near the end of the game. It was just one massive lore dump. However, I do take solace in noting that the Keepers would be important to the story in the first section. I might have been a little bit off, but they still were key to Saren's plan. It was some real nice validation. Ultimately, the final mission of the game is definitely the high point of the game. I particularly love the portion where you're fighting on the side of the Citadel, trying to make it to the Council Chamber. However, it's then followed up with a real letdown of a final boss. Saren's Geth form was not very different than fighting any other wall-jumping Geth from the game just with a thousand times more health. 
At the end of the day, I don't think that the better quality of the final mission justifies the game as a whole. If it were not for the RPG Club, I would not have finished this game. And I'm not exactly jumping to get into Mass Effect 2. But that's it for the Mass Effect RPG Club. I'm not sure what the next RPG Club game is, but hit that subscribe button if you want to follow my journey when it's revealed. Additionally, if you want to check me out elsewhere, I have links to my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord in the description below. See you all next time!